Welcome back to the Credible Dev YouTube channel. So one of the last videos I made before my hiatus from YouTube was about how I'd switched to the M3 MacBook Air and had left Linux. That decision was driven mostly by school, the AI related classes I was taking, and the fact that I couldn't do my proctor test at Western Governors University from Linux which is also the case with a lot of other exams that I do for work, like Microsoft exams. Most of these proctored systems don't allow you to use Linux. You have to use Windows or Mac. So since I graduated at the beginning of 2025, not long after that, I sold the MacBook and switched back to Linux. And initially I did that on Arch Linux because I used Arch, by the way. Today I'm using a Lenovo IdeaPad that has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a Ryzen processor. So a far cry from that M3 MacBook Air, but really the only thing that I miss about the MacBook Air is the battery life. For some reason, other laptops just can't come close to the amount of battery life that you get out of a MacBook Air. This Lenovo is enough for me to do my YouTube videos and other projects that I've been working on, at least for now. I'm satisfied with it and its performance. Like I said, when coming back to Linux, I went straight to Arch Linux right out of the gate. And soon I realized that I didn't want to fiddle with all the customizing. I didn't need the bleeding edge updates. So I made a choice that I've actually stuck with for the majority of this year. And that is Linux Mint LMDE. LMDE is the Debian edition of Linux Mint rather than the Ubuntu one. LMDE has allowed me to just be productive and get all my side projects done, do my normal day-to-day -day use, without any issues or having to do much customization at all. Really, the only thing I customized was the way the menu was, the menu bar at the bottom. I changed that and really nothing else changed. I know that Linux Mint is typically characterized as a beginner Linux distro, but don't let people on the internet make you feel like you're a noob or you're less than just because of the distro that you want to use. If it works for you, makes you productive, or however you want to use it, then great. Some people care more about utility and productivity rather than customizing their Linux distro, exercising full control over every little aspect. And that's okay. So yeah, for now, in the foreseeable future, I'll be right here on Linux Mint Debian Edition. So moving on to other updates, I haven't went back to Proxmox at this point, mostly because I don't want to rebuild that machine. So at this time, I am still using Hyper-V on Windows to run Portainer and TrueNAS Core. TrueNAS serves a backup share and a share for Plex Media, and that's really about it. I have two two terabyte drives attached to that TrueNAS that's basically just being put right into that VM. Uh, it's not really connected to Windows at all on that Hyper-V machine, just passing that through to the VM. And then in my portainer, I'm not really running much other than Home Assistant, which the only thing I'm using Home Assistant for is my RioLink NVR and RioLink cameras. I found it much easier to keep those updated by using Home Assistant. It will just automatically tell me there's an update and I can go in there and do it super easy without ever having to go into the real link software myself. I also have a broken Pi-hole instance that I've just been neglecting fixing. And then of course have Plex that is serving media off of that true NAS core share for Plex. So with my focus mainly being on projects like my game and now the second edition of the Hello Hacker game, along with various other web-based projects. I haven't had time to explore anything new in the home lab world, but hopefully that's going to change soon. But yeah, no more MacBook. We're back to Linux and just cruising with my Hyper-V set up for now. Who knows what will change over the next few weeks or months, but I will definitely keep you updated right here on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed. And I plan on making some Rust programming series videos and doing some sort of devlogs for my game. So don't miss out on that if that kind of content interests you. But that's all I have for today. Short video. Hope everybody has a great week. Thanks for watching.